continue. Which of these three blades would you like to choose as your starter? <laughs> <laughs> okay, welcome back to the Chronicles 2. I went back to the faithful forgetfulness and I refought that one asshole. And I was like, hey, did I ever collect this thing on screen? And yeah, I actually did collect this one thing on screen. And I can freaking use it over here at the Deox. The Deox. The Deoxy. And we're you. Now just go. And we're you. Yeah. I can I can use it to freaking freaking frackalackin. Open this, open this gate. The Anna, Anna Gam gate. And Anna, Anna, I can't read that. <laughs> and I can walk out into here and discover eighty four Tempest Pit Pitrix <laughs> and Mixoplex <laughs> and Organograph. Gerfix. Ooh, so many monsters that could utterly obliterate you. And Berserker Mamot. Let's, um, let's, uh, not go this way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, just, um, just, uh, let, let's... Uh, how about no? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, treasure. Quiet. I know I've mentioned this before, but there's evidence to suggest that chests like this were supposed to be in Xenoblade 1 <laughs> before they uh, did the whole monsters become chests when they die. <laughs> Which is very strange. Fad hail. Oh, when am I going to find a good teacher? I'd like to hear the details. Rex, what about you? Yes, yeah, same here. Can you fill us in? Well, my dream is to become a... My dream is to become a cool and powerful driver like Lady Morag. I'd love to be able to wield a blade as magnificent as Lady Bridget someday. That makes sense. But I don't know anyone with the skills to train me to reach that kind of level. I'm looking for a great teacher who could train me to become stronger. Leave it to Tora, uh, to Rex Rex and friends. They handle it somehow. Oh, you know someone who can help me. That's wonderful. You'll have to introduce me to them soon. New Merc missions. And speaking of missions, this Napan Tortor -tor needs help help. <laughs> hey. Hey you. Strong looking driver over there. Please help. Please hear out Tortor's request. Now this I have to hear. Now this I have to hear. Well, my job is to guide folks around more ordain, you see? And this time, I was meant to show four and up on guests around this factory on tour with... with an industrial sort of flavor. Strange fellows they were, seemed to like manufacturing more than... they did three square meals a day. But then, as soon as we step foot inside the factory premise, premises, they just up and disappeared somewhere. And then they never come back. Now I'm sure you see how something like this, uh, like that, would leave me in a pickle, so here I am, looking to get help, but... 
We'll help you out. Shouldn't be too much trouble. Thanks so much. Honestly, I was really hoping you'd say that. Now, each of the four customers had a, had a particular interest of their own. So let me fill you in. Topo Topopo, I hear, really likes being high. Hey, stop smirking! High up off the ground is what I meant. Oh, wow! He actually acknowledged what most people would think when they hear that. <laughs> yes, we actually went there. <laughs> Good job. Stu Stu can't get enough of boiling hot spots. Old man Pew Pew, Pew, Pew. has a thing for strong smells. If you find him, maybe just... Maybe consider keeping upwind. Just a thought. Yes, he named for laser fire. <laughs> no, I think he meant named for pew! <laughs> Woohoo! And last, but certainly not least... D... D to moo... Help me out here. D... D... Did he moo? Diddy Moo was curious about clammy antics. I know, right? Really, I feel like leaving them there might not be not upon kinds. Might not. Uh, I really. I feel like leaving them there might uh, might be to not upon kinds benefit, but. Uh, I do feel kind of responsible now. Dora will do best effort, but can't make promise. Industrial sword of tour received. Nice. Haha! I pressed the correct button. Actually. This is a Mordanian matter. This start button is a little, uh... Oh, yeah, don't get me started. <laughs> I did not even think about where I was going with that. <laughs> don't get me started about that start button. Uh, let's, let's awaken Vess's core crystal. Yes, view the awakening! Poof! Poof, 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 poof! No, it's only one poof, because we know who it is. <laughs> Soft bed. Ball! I'm here to soothe your weary hearts and souls. You have a very long nose. <laughs> and by long, I mean vertical, not horizontal. <laughs> <laughs> so we're not talking Usopp Pinocchio here. <laughs> Sonokio? <laughs> Sonokio? Ah, just don't use a booster. View Awakening, let's see if we get anything. Probably not. Although Morag hasn't pulled any rare blades, so she should have higher chances than the others. Yeah, what the heck? <laughs> Stupid start button. <laughs> Give me something good. And it is. 
keep teasing me with that first flash. I know who that first flash is. And it's not who I'm getting. <laughs> One more rare. And then I'll awaken maybe three common crystals and then call it a day. Oh, we got a rare one! Ooh. Who dares call upon Veil? You'll rue the day! Take this, and that, and another! Hey look, we got a goth chair. Anyway, I'm Vale. Pleased to meet ya. <laughs> modern-day Castlevania character. <laughs> yeah, she does. Alright. One more rare. View the awakening. View it. I can be a takening when you're awakening. Stop showing me that one. You're teasing me. This is a common beast. Common beast. Let's do two commons. Because you can get rare blades from common core crystals. It's gotcha blades! Could you imagine if you had to pay money for each core crystal? Oh my gosh, that's evil! EA presents. <laughs> it's like, head on over to the eShop to get your core crystals, everybody. It's like, EA presents Xenoblade Chronicles 2. <laughs> that might be a rare one. It's the pan up shot, everybody. <sighs> Last core crystal I'm pulling for the day. Oh, now it was the second. The one you get is always based on the third flash. Damn it. I keep seeing a specific blade literally flashing before my eyes, and the game is just like, No! Game, you need to stop flashing your pan upshot. I could have sworn. <sighs> pan upshots. Let's see if I can. Uh... Let's see if I can run this way to the factory. <laughs> this road does lead to the factory. <laughs> Let's see if you can pull this off. I actually have before. <laughs> because one time I took a path through... When I first played this game, I took a path through the factory that landed me, like, out here. It, that You see where those steps are right there? Mm -hmm. Can't jump over... A menace has a oh gosh! Son. Oh gosh! Brace yourselves. I see we've been given a warm welcome. But yeah, anyways, when I first played this game, I came out from these steps here. And I just looked out at the monsters in front of me and said, FUCK! <laughs> well, I mean, you're, you're not so bad. Hold your positions. Lady Morak, be careful! <laughs> Yeah. 
Something interesting about the way the party gauge is coded in this game. So for this game, while things that would affect the party gauge in Xenoblade 1 still affect it in this one, um, they affect it far less. Instead, things like doing blade and uh, driver combos is what builds your party gauge more in this game. However, what's interesting to note, that first segment fills 25% faster than normal, the middle segment fills at normal speed, and then the last segment fills at 25% less, 25% uh, slower. So technically, it, so technically, it takes about the same amount of time to fill up the whole thing when you really think about it, considering that the one fills 25% faster, but the last one fills slower. But it feels like they probably made the first segment fill faster just so that you can get that part of the gauge up quicker in order to have it for, like, resurrecting people. And then I think they made the last part fill slower so that it... so that, like, it takes longer before you can get to your chain attack. And that just uh, attracted a bunch of monsters. <laughs> These NATO lizards. <laughs> I don't know about anyone else, but I could almost I could almost see like Morag going through like an action game just doing God of For War sure. combo oh, yeah. with the war with the whip swords. <laughs> She's got the personality for it too. Let's end this swiftly. Flash like scout. Let me do so, like, in Xenoblade 1, you could fill a huge portion of the party gauge just by, like, hitting your art's extra effects, like hitting their positionals or whatever. Uh, but in this one, while that still fills up the party gauge, it does not fill it nearly as much or as fast as it would in Xenoblade 1. <laughs> I always think of how much, how much more often it happened in Torna. <laughs> it's an elemental burst, elemental burst, elemental burst, elemental, elemental, elemental burst. And in this one, I guess I see that sometimes. <laughs> well, to be fair, in Torna, every time I did any part of a blade combo, they got an orb on them. Whereas this one, I have to finish a full blade combo before that happens. Yeah. It means I don't hear elemental burst quite as often. Yeah, Poppy Buster! Poppy Buster, see? This is like something Frankie would do. <laughs> All right, get ready for my ultimate weapon. Opens the hatch and comes out with like <laughs> a coop to burst. Yeah, so now he's got one orb on him, so now I can do one elemental burst and look at how much health he's got left. <laughs> So, in this game, if I want to do, like, a full burst, which is five elemental bursts, I have to do five, count them, five full blade combos, and hope they survive before I even start the chain attack. I feel like they made a lot of improvements when Torna came out. Y you think? Yeah. <laughs> I got the freaking tutorial for 
chain attacks ages ago, and they were like, oh, by the way, if you manage to fill up the whole burst gauge, well, that might come a bit later. And it's just like, it, yeah, it'll come a bit later. <laughs> if it comes at all. <laughs> I mean, if you're playing optimally, you might almost never see them. <laughs> yeah. Shouldn't that be like the opposite? <laughs> I mean, if you're playing optimally, uh, I don't know if they'll survive. Like, that's, yeah, that's what I mean. It's like... This sounds like something, oh, if you're playing out to me, you'll be getting full burst left and right. No, everything will be dead before you get the chance left and right. Unless you're fighting, like, super bosses. Or something like that. And then it's like, wait, this mechanic exists? Very well, then. Hmm. <sighs> Oh, right! It's been so long, I forgot. Here's what we got. Oh, no! <laughs> She's still doing her lessons and stuff. <laughs> uh. Let that be a lesson to you. <laughs> I've remembered what I can do. I feel I can get stronger. Well, yes. <laughs> Another dish in my repertoire. Fight with no fear. I have you covered. A reasonable result. Well, crispy ve veg contract, xylophone contract, fel fel Murray contract. This is the culmination of research. What is it? The culmination of years of training. <laughs> I've still got room to improve. More strategies have opened up to us. Yes, they have. Archantum. Everyone's counting on me. I oh. gotta step it up. You gotta Watch step your mouth. it up. Watch your mouth. <laughs> Let's see if I can light a fire under their butts. Oh wait, I need shit hammers. Uh... Hammer, hammer, hammer time. What's the plan, boss? What's the plan, boss? Watch your mouth. Looks like Winter Sun is showing off for, uh... Off we go, we go! Mario comic collection. <laughs> I see. Let's see if I can light a fire under their butts. Get out there and do things! <laughs> Longing for more egg! Ooh, I love going on trips! Oh, don't worry, I won't talk your ear off. There's work to do! sort of bad rep, don't they? You better. Time to affirm my existence. Ha! 
I'll do it. I hereby call you the Tingling Troop. Free dumplings all around. No more than 300 gold on snacks, okay? Just remember to have fun. <laughs> My ting a ling a ling. <laughs> that just makes me think of Family Guy. You'll have to do her with your ding a ling. Cause you can't say penis. <laughs> what? <laughs> Peter's song about the FCC. <laughs> I see, see, see. This is for a just cause. Opening protocol engaged. Open up. <laughs> this is for just opening protocol and get open up. <laughs> Common core crystal. Look for the map. Pon 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 pon. I could have sworn. Damn it! <laughs> I mean, I, I did swear. Door is locked from the other side. Oh, no. How will I ever get through? Ah, uh, flames. Well, that looks safe. <laughs> Locked from the other side again. <laughs> okay, I switched off Gotta be kind to the environment. The incinter the incinerators. The incinerators have been shushed. <laughs> This looks promising. Also, all the enemies that were here are uh, are gone. Huh. It's pretty empty. Huh. Treasure trove. Me. Got some more common core crystals. Huh. Hey, it's Stu Stu. Hello, friend! Stu Stu, feel water con water content of Stu Stu leaving Stu Stu by the leader. This room's so very hot, it make person sweat lots. Very helpful for full detox. After sit here a while, Stu Stu feel like a feel like Malpon reborn. How remarkable. Who knew that Guided Tour Factory also combined with Spa Day? Ingenious! Let Dora explain. Meh? What is mean not part of Tour? What is mean Guide Tour Tour worried? Tow uh, Tour. To, to, yeah, there's no R in the first part. It's Totor. I'm so used to Napon names being... Being like two words smashed together. <laughs> the same word twice. Yeah, the same word twice. Totor worried? Oh, alright. It's almost time for Stu Stu to... S to top up on electrolytes anyways. Me, leave fa me go leave factory now. Thanking friends for timely reminder. industrial sort of tour. <laughs> industrial sort of tour. Go open that sort of door.
What was that? <laughs> it sounded like a ambulance or something, or like some emergency vehicle. Oh, there it goes. Hey, so, Topo. Greetings. Ah, view from here is an e view from here is, as one say, bomb to Popo Lord Lord looking down on bustly bustly factory floor. The Popo wish the Popo could stay to watch factory work forever. But on other wing, watch silent factory floor after shift is over also toppest of notch. To cut to chase, the Popo wished to remain looking down on factory in all states of busyness 24 each day. 24 hour each day. So the thing is... Meh meh meh. Now friends mention, the Popo did come here as part of tour that right. That mean that... Reverie, reverie of the Popo must come to close some time or other. No, no, it okay. To Popo, no good thing never lasts forever. To Popo, go quietly. Rejoin Guide to Totor now. Thank you for reminding To Popo about hard facts of life. It's the hard not facts <laughs> of life. <laughs> it's, it's a weird sounding song. <laughs> Treasure trove. Would you use it for a just cause? Mr. Topopo! <laughs> 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 First roll about Mr. DePopo's training. Don't talk about Mr. Mr. DePopo's training. training. All right, maggots, listen up here. <laughs> Pecking order. It goes, you, the dirt, the worms in the dirt, Mr. Popo's stool, Gami, then Popo. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of poppy. I need more fortitude. Ah. 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 Is there another, like, skill thing blocking our path? What if I told you? Yes. <laughs> I forgot about that bullshit. Welcome back to Xenoblade Chronicles Got 2, everybody! I give you my all. <laughs> well, I mean, part of... Here's what we could... Here's what we could... Shut up. Just give me my blades. <laughs> now I'll be late. Okay, Captain Southern Pants. <laughs> Call on me anytime. Okay, she has the fortitude I need a tude. Iron Heart beats and Poppy's positive attitude will get you through. Poppy Buster engage. Poppy Be power. power. <laughs> Status is five by five. Made it through. A 
Oh, now I can get that chest. What if they put a chain link fence behind this ladder? <laughs> this is for a just cause. This is the entrance to the factory, in case you, uh... Oh. I had to go around the actual entrance, because those bookses were in the way. The stupid bookses. Quality control tower. Uh, the QCT. Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> the treasure. Oh, they're coming for Grissel. The Goomans. What is down here, Pose? Oh, that's right, I turned all the incinerators off. <laughs> when I saw those, you know, I guess, uh, artificial blades they were making. Oh, I'm hanging up there. I just thought like, they're building terminators. <laughs> and then I'm just imagining Poppy in the place of Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> Hasta la vista, baby. <laughs> after after this chapter or after the dealing hey, with Hey, look what I found. Congratulations. It depends, you know what? In my <laughs> Yeah, after dealing with the the whole um that artificial blade thing poppy starts speaking more human like in her speeches she starts to sound less robotic huh. she has the same voice lines as before but says them differently also these artificial blades definitely do not look like Maids. Yeah. <laughs> Could you imagine them doing? How may I serve you, master? Uh, not cute. Yes. <laughs> How get in there? There. Uh, I love that Toro was trying to convince them that it was all Grand Grampy Pond's idea for the whole maid thing. <laughs> I guess it was all, all Grampy Pond. <laughs> Grampy Pond Susu makes settings. Yeah, Grampy Pond Susu makes settings. Are you sure about that, Toro? <laughs> it's like made outfits for <laughs> And there's like sweat coming down. <laughs> and, and then Pyrus is like, well, no need to worry about that. <laughs> Pyre ain't about to kink shame. Bridget, on the other hand. <laughs> Like when 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 Poppy's like, "How may I serve you, Master?" All I could think was, "This is this not is the first scene in Blade Chronicles." <laughs> <laughs> I cannot imagine this type of thing happening. Uh, yeah, this game got divisive because of just how anime it is, mm -hmm. and people were like, "Xenoblade was never anime," and then other people were like, "Xenoblade was always anime," and. And some people were like, Xeno Gears was anime. Had anime this concepts. sounds like a the last airbender type of argument. <laughs> this is for a just cause. Artificial blade report. Oh, nice. Is it night time already? The coins have fallen. <laughs> I'm trying to figure, trying to remember how to get 
into other parts of the f <laughs> Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I see. Oh, yes. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Nuh-uh. Uh-huh. No way! I can't believe this! <laughs> Get a load of this! <laughs> it's chaos, fool! The god of destruction! Uh, <laughs> I, I saw a YouTube video uh, thumbnail the other day. I didn't watch it, but the title was interesting. <laughs> and the thumbnail kind of made me chuckle. Where it said, Sonic Adventure is beautiful. And it showed Sonic making a really weird face <laughs> <laughs> against the sunset at the beach. Oh, God. <laughs> Why? <laughs> hey, Tails! What's going on? <laughs> Sonic, what's happening with our, your face? <laughs> oh, yeah! This well, is happening. This is happening. <laughs> oh, okay. I. There's a guy in there. I see what I have to do. Is that a ladder? That was Hi. indeed Hi. a ladder. This is secret base. Nira, 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 Nira use this place often. Really, truly. Uh, Toro, where are you? As agent of Special Distribution Audit Bureau, have been seeking evidence of Banna's misdeed for past several years. Thought artificial blade case would be final nail and coffin for our chairman. But he slip away again, and we still not manage to arrest him. Biggest priority is to find place of hiding. There's something going on with his... What? I don't... I don't know. His head just looked weird for a second there. Whatever. Wait. Uh. <laughs> Am I going crazy? <laughs> his head is detached from his body! It's not <laughs> rotating right! <laughs> Nira, Nira! Find me. Opening protocol engaged. <laughs> okay, I see, what I see what was going on there. Every once in a while his head would be like... Like lined up correctly. But but when he turns his body, his I think I think he's trying to look at our characters. Oh, oh, okay. And I think that's messing with his head. I don't think his head is supposed to do that. Nira, Nira, are you a Napon or an Owl? <laughs> or I mean, I, I guess it would be a Napon or a Quad Wing. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so Nira, Nira isn't part of the Tora Tora. <laughs> Tora Tora <laughs> Tora Tora will do it do it Uh factory Let's see. Where can we push the Joker into a big old vat? <laughs> oh, no, no, that was a chemical factory. <laughs> I, got, I got it all wrong. See, pushing the Joker into the vat wasn't part of the plan. <laughs> <laughs> Just 
some of this stuff just makes me think of those. <laughs> oh, those look like a big, nice vat of Joker juice. <laughs> Joker juice. <laughs> Joker juice. <laughs> oh, God. You look a little sad. Why don't we turn that frown upside down with a nice, nice can of Joker juice? I could have sworn. Get the goods. You'll never take me alive, Batman. <laughs> Not when I've got my Joker juice. Curses the Joker juice. <laughs> Flora heals an aching soul. What, what was the floor there? I honestly have no <laughs> idea. <laughs> it's a fucking stone floor. <laughs> I guess it was in the box? Maybe, I guess. I can't think of a good explanation. Diddy Moo! Greetings. This addict is best addict. Addict. Have everything addict aficionado like Diddy Moo could hope for. Like clammy atmosphere, for example. Even have bat creatures living in it is sure sign of high quality addict. Diddy Moo. Diddy Moo don't mind telling friend. Is worlds above attic and. Chocolos. Where Diddy Moo stay first night? That attic not have one lousy bat creature. Outrage! <laughs> Let Tor explain. That's a <laughs> Oh god. Bat cr Hey Mike, wake up! There's bats outside your window! Uh... <laughs> Isn't it cool? <laughs> Mom, go back to bed. <laughs> I'm not explaining that story any further. Go watch Donkey Kong 64. Oh, good luck. <laughs> Let Tori explain. You see, in Donkey Kong 64... <laughs> Meh? Oh, right. Now Diddy Moo, remember? What, Diddy Moo? Yeah, I was thinking that earlier. <laughs> Uh, donkey Kong. <laughs> Finally, she's a. <laughs> oh right, Diddy Moo, remember? Come here for guided tour, not for find rented accommodation. Is me no. <clears throat> Is me no disrespect to tour to guide to tour? Diddy Moo, head back right now. Thanks for friends. Thanks, friends, for looking out for. Alright. Now I just need to find somebody who likes smells. Smells. Smells like. Napon spirit? <laughs> Smells like seen spirit. So like normally I can't get into like to sports anime. I just can't. But there uh -huh. is, but one reason I can get into some is if there's a very bizarre circumstance for the sports anime. Um, like this one I started watching called Blue Lock. Basically, uh, this guy gathered the best players from different high school teams and he just locks him in this facility <laughs> and it's like okay uh you have to basically prove yourself by doing a bunch of crazy soccer games and by the way if you lose you can you can never take part in the nationals ever um oh, okay but like this <clears throat> <sighs> <laughs> I was, I, I, my point wasn't to talk about that show. It's to go to somewhere else. And now I can't remember where I was going with it. Shit. <laughs> Ugh. Oh, well. 
No worries, friend. You remember. <laughs> Tora can do it. <laughs> Alright, where's that freaking last nap on? Where is it? Where? Where are the other nap on going? <laughs> I don't know, I swear to God, swear to me! <laughs> <laughs> We're talking a lot about Batman in today's episode for some reason. <laughs> I'm... Vang man. <laughs> I am the knight. <laughs> yeah, Vang man just doesn't have the same ring to it. <laughs> as, as Pat. I'm Napon man. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Napon man. No, we need something that strikes fear in the. So, but. Napon are like ravenous little murderers. <laughs> they hire people t t t to kill entire species constantly. <laughs> I mean, what's more terrifying than that, really? <laughs> I'm telling you, Napon aren't scary. Really? Have you seen what they do? <laughs> Have you seen what they get up to? <laughs> they put a hit on my whole family. That night at the theater! Mom! Daddy! Daddy, mommy! Friends take care of the Wayne family, yes? Oh, <laughs> yes, friends take care of Wayne family. At last, no more competition for Banna. <laughs> Feels like we've been running around this factory the whole episode. Refresh and set off again. Because we kind of have. <laughs> Well, there should be another window that I can break. Through. What was it in uh, DK sixty four? Was it frantic frantic factory? Was it, was that was that yes, that was uh, that was one of the levels. <laughs> well, uh, I'd say frantic factory here, but uh, there's no enemies. <laughs> this is just getting lost in the factory. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> there goes that uh, siren again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like, why did they include that? <laughs> Uh, I guess they were trying to make the music sound very synthetic. Yeah. Uh, guys, I think we should go there. What do you think? Uh, yeah, I think it would work really well here. <laughs> should be like another vent or something. Ugh, I just want to vent my friend's frustration. That's that vent. Being another vent somewhere that I can climb into. Ooh, bright. Oh, that's where I found looks stew like, stew. Looks like something that the Millennium Falcon's flying into to shoot, <laughs> blow up another Death Star. Uh, it's just molten metal. Molten metal. Morag. <laughs> <clears throat> Morag of the molten metal. Ugh. <laughs> <sighs> 
Where is it? <laughs> and we're you. Let us go. Let us go. But Let go. us go. But go where? Door is locked from the other side. I need to get in there. But how? But how? <laughs> <laughs> but how can we do this? <laughs> it's the dawn of a new day. Let me read you the agenda for today. But what does the D stand for? <laughs> I know she said day, but <laughs> it sounded like D. <clears throat> <laughs> Moving me right along. Oh, wait a minute. Have you figured something out? More like I remembered something. Yeah. Now, let's see. Set optic sensors to max sensitive. Very well, then. Yeah, I remember. This is for a just cause. Ooh, justice booster. <laughs> Wait, she said just yeah, for a just see. cause and justice Gotta booster. Gotta be kind to the environment. Nice. Yeah, this I forgot about this cause. room full of trash. Hi. Now let's see. Flora heals an aching soul. Garbage flowers! And hey, look, we found Pew Pew. Are you quite alright? <laughs> meh meh? This place? Smell of this place too much for even Pew Pew. As would, as would transpire, even Pew Pew have limitations. And now Pew Pew cannot move. Please, friends, help extract Pew Pew from most sticky of situations. Got it. Ugh, that Nampon was stinky! <laughs> I like how neither one of us said anything that was happening. Well, I guess we're dead then. <laughs> what just happened? I know what just happened. Okay, so I would. I forgot that I had to. Oh, you had to jump and then climb. <laughs> I wasn't holding the stick forward, so I just kind of. The wind is my mate. Poppy boosters engaged. Oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Without that, I can't climb higher. Damn it! Brrr. <sighs> All right, I never, uh... Well, I've got a fix for this. You just leave it to me. I'll use my brains to put this team to good use. <laughs> I was just thinking, it's like, there's an app for that. In this game, there's a blade for that. <laughs> Come, winds! The wind Lend is me my your transient mate. fleeting Top aid! Boosters engaged! Bolt jump activated! Woo! Would you look at that? That is quite something.
And into the clouds we go. <laughs> Damn, Mor <laughs> Damn, Morag! That's the most intense yeah, scream I've heard yeah. since... Uh, where, where Hulk Sonic? Well, I was going to say Shulk, but... Oh, yeah. <laughs> More relevant, I suppose. Oh, did you know that um, Shulk's English voice actor, Adam uh, Adam Howden, actually listened to the Japanese voice lines and screams from the Japanese dub to make his take on the character sound as close as he could get it? Damn, that's dedication. Fire, guide me. I call upon the power of fire. Very well. Hmm. Yes, I see. Melt metal, activate. Next thing you're gonna tell me, he came into the office to <laughs> to record his lines in full Shulk cosplay. <laughs> I don't think you went that far. <laughs> Although I've seen pictures of the dude, he could almost pull it off. <laughs> except for except for he has the wrong hair color, but that's about it. Oh, so he just needs a to dye it or a, a wig, <laughs> and he's set. <laughs> yes, he needs a diet wig. A <laughs> diet wig. Aha! This is for a just cause. By the way, I just realized. Um, Rex is not currently in my in my active party, but blades he has engaged are still being used for field skills. Oh, yeah. So that helps. That helps a lot. Anyways, Yeah. Let's get back to Shoo Shoo. Shoo Shoo! <laughs> Moo Shoo Shoo! <laughs> <laughs> popped out of the ground like daisies! We are in a war, man! <laughs> <laughs> and we're you. Let us go. <laughs> uh... I still like what they did in the Kingdom Hearts mock, <laughs> where he pulls out the KH1 manga and is like, oh, they didn't include me! <laughs> Thanks to you, my customers are back safe and sound, so my reputation won't suffer. Better yet, they all seem super happy with experience. What a bunch of weirdos, I swear! Well, whatever. I won't dwell on it. If they're happy, then I'm happy, and thank you for all your help. That's totally fine. <laughs> I'm not looking at you. Oh, no need to be so humble. Here's a reward from the customers. Th though it's just junk they found in the factory. And I'll throw in a little bit extra, too. Thanks again for saving me f from four whole one-star reviews. <laughs> Industrial sort of tour is complete. <laughs> Tank mod? Tank mod? Evasion mod? Holy shit! <laughs> Why, thank you! Justice. I will prove myself. More resource to allocate. Affirmative, Mom. Next goal already in sight. Our journey got easier.
Poppy needs a lot of trust. <laughs> Blades that you get from the beginning of the game need a shit ton of trust to unlock their fifth uh, chart here. You've opened the door to unlimited possibilities. Dunno, I just thought I'd say something cool. <laughs> <laughs> that always catches me off guard. Because he pauses after he says it, so you think it's done, right? I don't know, I just thought I'd say something cool. <laughs> uh, you you mentioned it before, but it honestly sounds like... It, it honestly sounds like the, the actor just kind of ad-libbed that last part. Yeah. <laughs> Or maybe not the last part, like the whole thing. Yeah. My senses are home. Ooh, I'm better at lock picking. Good, good. Oh, I probably should have been using chain attacks. Oh well. <laughs> <laughs> I was not even planning on doing that quest on this episode. I literally just came across the that character and was like, "Oh, there's a quest for me. Well, I guess I'll do, I guess I'll just go and do it." I mean, why why not, right? Right? Huh. Yeah. Well, you finally cleared out the diggity damn factory. <laughs> Where you? Let us go. Hey, I can handle it. Everyone's counting on me. Hey, I gotta step I it up. I can handle it. I will strive to do the utmost best, whatever my role. Count me in. I'll apply myself fully. Watch your mouth. All of you. All of you watch your mouth. Well... My life is officially over. Is something the matter? I keep telling him that I can't deal with... Uh, I keep telling him I can't deal with heights. But the foreman gives me these ridiculous jobs anyway. He's only... He's only told me to take care of the gondola maintenance... And inspection. How am I meant to carry out repairs all the way up there? I'd pass out from the sheer terror of it. Where do you permit us to take care of it? We know just the people. Really? You do this for me? You must be the kindest people I've ever met. Thank you so much, you lifesavers, you really are. New Merc missions are available. I'm just gonna collect up some Merc missions. Truly I am. Truly I am. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear! This is a fine pickle I've managed to wind up in! Something wrong? Something wrong? There was a bit of a mix-up while I was moving some goods! Oh, she made a heart with the flames. Oh yeah. The real precious antiques got all jumbled with a bunch of counterfeits. Is that right? Is that right? Yeah. These are some really valuable items. We're talking around a million G. Meme? If I wind up giving the client the counterfeits in place of the real thing, let's just say it'll be curtains for me. And they won't look lovely! 
I'm clutching at straws here. Do you know how? Do you know of any way to sort out the real deal from the fakes? We can help you find. We can help you out if you have a mind to let us handle it. What? Really? I can trust you guys with this, right? You won't mess up, right? Tuli, Tuli, yours and truly. <laughs> this place has a very, uh, very militaristic sound. That's a more Ordanian Titan weapon. Huh. They took a they took a tiny Titan and put battle guns on it. <laughs> I was just thinking of Dino Riders. <laughs> we took dinosaurs and put guns on. Yeah, I mean, why wouldn't you? <laughs> Who wouldn't do that? Come on. <laughs> it's the most obvious thing to do. Alright, everyone. That's it for this episode. Stay tuned for the next episode. That factory wasn't so frantic. <laughs> Uh, okay, hold on. Keep it going. Keep the recording going. I want to see how far this goes. <laughs> oh, 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 it's turning. Okay, it's over. Well, the fun's over. Okay, see ya. <laughs>